Welcome to Handmade Cutesy Miniatures. This is artist Pamela T. I would like to share with you some of my polymer clay creations featuring teapots inspired by vintage fairy tale style dresses. I have created several different themes and I will be going over with you some of the techniques I used in creating these teapots. This first teapot I will be sharing with you is a chocolate cookie inspired dress and there you can see I'm placing a penny beside the dress to give you a size comparison. This dress features chocolate cookies and biscuits dipped in chocolate. The pour spout is a chocolate wafer stick. On the back there is a nicely made huge bow and chocolate dots on the dress. And here I am, I'm opening up the teapot to give you a look on the inside. And there are different features like scallops on the front of the dress. And here is the bodice of the dress. It features short sleeves and chocolate dots on the top of the dress. On the neckline is a choker style chocolate necklace. And here's the dress itself. You can see on the inside part it is white. But on the edges it, there is like a scallop lace effect to the edges. The scallops on the dress were created using a blunt edge needle. To create my clay creations, I use a clay needle tool that is used to carve out the details of the dress and the different flowers and leaves. And to cut the clay, I use a metal clay scraper tool. And here you can see a close-up of the dress. To seal this dress, I used a semi-gloss sealer or satin sealer and here is a rough sketch thumbnail that I did this was the concept of the design that I had in mind for this chocolate cookie inspired dress and this is the final result. There is an importance to creating thumbnails for your designs. And it really helps to map out and plan your creation while you're making your teapot. And here is another teapot. This is a daisy inspired dress. It's a very cute dress. And here's the bodice of the teapot. There you can see there are daisies on the shoulders and it's a short sleeve. There are polka dots, green polka dots on the dress and a light green belt and bow on front. And it's a similar makeup of the last teapot you saw. There's a bow in the back and scallop edges on the front and bottom of the dress. And here I'm placing the teapot cover on top. And as you can see the choker necklace on the bodice. And there is the flowers, the daisy flowers. To sculpt my dress, I use the blunt edge needle. Now to get different colors of the polymer clay, you have two different options. You can mix your own colors or you can buy the assorted different shades that they offer in the craft store. I also use um, acrylic paint to add highlights and shading to my teapots. First, I would bake the clay, and then after baking, I would seal it 
with the acrylic semi-gloss sealer and then when that was done I would get my acrylic paints out and start highlighting the different parts of the flowers and teapot. And there's a close-up of the bodice. And the polka dots are made by dipping the end of a paintbrush into some acrylic paint. And there's a penny comparison in size. This is a fun idea that you can do on your own. Just think up a theme for a holiday or think about a different animal that you could create a teapot about. And you can add the different features to the teapot. Um, I suggest starting out with a thumbnail sketch or rough sketch of your idea onto paper. And then when you come out with an idea that you really like, you can go ahead and start creating that teapot. Here's a quick tip for creating leaves. All you would do is get some clay, form it into a round ball, then with your index finger, go ahead and press it down lightly. Then once that is pressed down, you will get your thumb and index finger and squeeze the ends of either side of the leaf. And here is the thumbnail sketch that I did for the daisy teapot. And here is the other teapot I designed. It is a blueberry dress inspired teapot. Now my favorite color is blue and you'll notice um, different tones within this dress here. I used acrylic paint again to do different highlights on the, the leaves and on the berries. I also use acrylic paint to paint the buttons onto the dress. And yellow is a uh, great color to use with blue. Blue and yellow go together greatly. And on the top of the handle, you see a little bluebird. Now on the bodice of the dress, you'll notice that the belt is a swirl of light blue and dark blue. And this dress also has some short sleeves. And the choker necklace is a blueberries. And there's the inside of the dress. And as you can see, on the front is a blueberry cluster with leaves. Now here is my rough sketch for the teapot. I thought about this idea in my head and then I just sketched it out and as you can see here here's the final product that's why it's so important to create thumbnail sketches when you're doing your designs it helps you to design more quickly and to and it gives you a roadmap to help you to figure out where where you will start and where you will end in the finished product. And here is a close-up of the dress teapot. Well, thank you for joining me today for handmade cutesy miniatures I'm artist Pamela T please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos